Hello dear friends. Hey guys. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're doing a, uh, a quick video about us as an interracial couple called Eight Questions All Interracial Couples Are Tired of Hearing. Or uh, yeah, get it a lot. Yeah. These questions ask a lot. So if you've been the one to ask these questions, maybe back off a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> How does your family feel about your partner's race? Mm -hmm. So from the very beginning, my family was fine with Ben and May. Mm -hmm. um, because I grew up just learning that everyone's the same, mm -hmm. that you treat everyone the same. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I don't think it was a big problem. No. So, um, for me, it was not a big deal, but I think my dad felt a certain way. <laughs> which he expressed. He's just protecting like, you. Yeah, He's just rightfully so. Yeah. Um, which I learned <clears throat> later on why he just. I think the bottom line is that he wanted me to be treated correctly. Yeah, he's that's, just he's checking my motives and yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's how a dad is supposed to be. That's right. Yeah. All right, number two. Okay, number two, you're dating a yeah. I'm what? dating a black. Well, I'm married to a black girl. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and you to a white guy. Mm -hmm. Um, am mm -hmm. I worried about a uh, stereotype. stereotype? I'm not even sure what that means. I don't either. Like, uh, what are some of the stereotypes that black people eat watermelon? Like, what? Or is it Chicken? like a dating we, I, stereotype? I, which is what? The types about, like... My race. Race, mm -hmm. black associated with certain things, mm -hmm. or white associated with certain things. Mm -hmm. No, I don't think we were concerned about it. I think that's why they're in uh, <laughs> stereotypes, because not all stereotypes are... Based in reality. Yeah, yeah. so it's someone's... Dumb I mean, opinion. we joke about stuff together, just oh, between yeah, the two do. of us. Like, <laughs> we'll crack jokes on each other's race just between us. But we're not gonna. Like, uh, we're not worried about it. It's more like um, <clears throat> something happened where he said, "Oh, somebody got bitten by I don't know a snake." Some kind of animal. So I say, "Was he white?" Yeah. <laughs> There's no black it's more like, hang around. Yeah, like and no black. No, like okay, so we <laughs> went to the a state okay. fair. And towards the end of the night, um, there were police officers running towards the scene, and I'm running the other way, and George <laughs> running towards the issue. I'm like, I'm like oh, what's that, going on? that's white people. <laughs> and try, and I'm not trying to stay and get shot, though. No, ask questions later, run. So that's kind of the yeah, joke. So I guess have. there's some of that, right? Yeah. We're not worried about any stereotypes, no. though. <laughs> All right, number three. Wouldn't it be easier to just date your own race? Mm -hmm. I don't know. I think any relationship, you're going to have to learn the other person. Mm -hmm. And yeah, there may be a few more things you have to learn if yeah. you date interracial. Mm -hmm. But I mean, just add it to the list and learn it. Right. <laughs> I don't know. That's, yeah, I mean, it would be easier, like, yeah, not having to explain jokes or something. I don't sure. know. Yeah, I'm it, sure there's it, little yeah. nuances that are, are a little bit harder. Right. To, to work through but I think in our case it's even mm -hmm. uh, more difficult because it's not only it's not just, just a race it's, it's also like cultural where you're from. yeah, yeah. Africa, the Congolese culture yeah. versus American right. culture so yeah. it's more than just a race so there thing. I mean there is some stuff to work through there mm -hmm. and you have to be willing to work through it you, yeah you can't just jump in and, ex and totally expect to understand each other but that's any relationship right like I said just tack it onto the end of the list and keep working through the list yeah so I've yeah. gotten a question before like what do you guys talk about <laughs> what? what do you mean what do we talk about <laughs> what do you talk about <laughs> it's nothing can't yeah be very naive yeah but think of the children. Aren't you worried they will be bullied? Uh, no. I was not, not really. worried at all in the beginning. At yeah. all. Like, in fact, I told Jory, I was like, going to high school, I felt like the mixed kids were like, they got along with everybody. Everybody liked the mixed race children. So, yeah, so at your school, it was a very diverse it area. It was extremely diverse. And so that's the dynamic. But right. where I grew up, it was mostly white. Right. So, like, I am... Like recently, I've become a little more concerned. Well, like, recently we have. Yeah, yeah, like if I put my kids in school where we're at now, mm -hmm. in in my hometown area, mm -hmm. you know, will they be treated as well as other, like, bright white kids? Y'all, I don't want to go to jail. So, <laughs> and and, and I, I don't want to be unkind, but but kids are kids, and they tend yeah. to hang in the groups they want to. And right. So I don't know how my kids would be treated, and I I hate to think that they'd be treated poorly. 
but I want the best for them. Mm -hmm. so. And it, it's, I don't know, it's also hard because here it's just like, like I'm seeing Bella in one of the groups like she was involved in. Like mm -hmm. She was trying really hard and these girls just would not give her the time of day. Right. So like, right. and it's hard to, um, to tell is that just because of her race or um, because they're just girls. I don't know, but huh. but the, then recently the tea party I took her to, like, oh my go goodness, they were all white and she was the only mixed child. Mm -hmm. And like those girls played with her so well. I mm -hmm. was impressed. Yeah. And it helps if the parents yeah. have had some difference. sort of experience yeah. outside of their own race. like. Whether they went on missions or have like close, close friends <clears throat> that they truly call friends mm -hmm. that are different culture upbringing, yeah. that makes a huge yeah. difference. Travel, see other people, get yeah, to know you other. need to get out. It helps. <laughs> it helps with your view of life. Yeah. yeah. Okay, number five. Do you only date for me black girls? Do you only date a black girl, huh? <laughs> <laughs> or for you white guys? So d did we, like before we got married, uh, I had not dated anyone <laughs> before I dated Bename, so right. no, I didn't date. But it's Same not thing. that I would have only dated a black, black girl. girl. That's right. I, I just found her very attractive and got to know her and found out we had a lot in common and so that was that. If she had been white, it would have probably progressed the same way. That's what I was telling Jory. I was like, no, he's my only... Everything. Everything. I've never <laughs> like yeah. dated outside of my like race or like or dated at all. in my race yeah. I've never dated what I was saying I did have like oh he's so cute Crushes. like yeah, yeah like yeah. on black guys mm -hmm. you know on like there was maybe one other white guy when I was in the third grade right but then it it changed completely to where I was just like oh he's he's hot and a majority of them were black mm -hmm. so I like who I like if you find <laughs> and you are kind I'm gonna make you mine oh. Ah! Oh. <laughs> I didn't know you could rhyme. <laughs> Y'all have been struggling to rhyme. <laughs> that was good. That was good. Thank that you. Was good. I'm glad I was those things. Yeah, the birds. Okay, sorry. Go ahead, you read it. Okay, can you help me find a, <clears throat> another question people get, can you help me find a white boy? Or a black or girl. Or a black girl. Have you gotten that question no. before? Okay, I have. <laughs> um, and it's just like, where did you find him? Yeah, a black lady would ask. Yeah, you and I'm him. just like, he got a brother. Yeah, I didn't really <laughs> find him. He found me. Right. <laughs> Let's right. get it straight. Like he's got the hookup. Either. Yeah, I don't. Um, yeah, we've gotten that annoying question before. It's just like, come on now. All right, number seven. Don't you get frustrated not being able to express yourself in your own language? What language? <laughs> <laughs> So, I, obviously I speak English, that's yeah. the only language I speak. Uh, Bename speaks English, but she also can do some in Lingala, which is her native tongue. But it's not like it's a problem, because she was here so long, she speaks English. Yeah, I used to work at uh, this place, uh, and people would make me mad. I would just mumble stuff under my breath. <laughs> in Lingala? Yeah. <laughs> I thought the bomb would you mumble. <laughs> yes. Because <laughs> they don't know what you're saying. Right. That's so shady. It's like, come on, no go. Come on. <laughs> These are not curse words. Don't ask me. <laughs> okay, go Do ahead. Do people stare at you when you go on dates? <sighs> I think we, yes, they do. Like in the beginning, we were aware that this is a white man, this is a black woman. We were aware. We were very aware <laughs> of that. You know what I'm saying? It was like you go out and about. Yeah, and you're, you're more you're conscious. Conscious. Of it. Yeah. But then, as we our relationship progressed, it was like that's Jory. This has been a right. Bit. We didn't really think it, about it. It didn't think, yeah. and it didn't come up until people would stare. Like, then I would go, oh. oh, okay, <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's why they're saying, and. It's gotten better. Mm -hmm. um, we lived down south for a little bit. So mm -hmm. do you think we got more stairs down there or up here? Up here. But I, I think down there, if there is racism, it's very overt and mm -hmm. obvious. Mm -hmm. uh, up here, it's more like hidden and quiet. And then That's som scary. sometimes it's like people are so sheltered mm -hmm. in this area and they haven't seen other races that when they do, they stare. Oh my. I'm not talking about like just like no. Blends. They can't. They cannot peel their eyes away. No, it's 
like I had, and these are children too. Some of them are children. Yeah, little kids. Yeah. Where like the girl came like close to my buggy and was studying what I had in my buggy. Like I don't know like, if it's, what do black people eat? <laughs> yeah, like buggy meaning cart. I'm sorry. Shopping cart. Yeah. I'm thinking buggy like back South. in South Carolina. Yeah. In South Carolina they say, they say buggy, buggy yeah. but up north we say shopping cart. Shopping cart. cart. <laughs> I can't believe I just did that. But yeah, they would look into my shopping cart yeah. like, like, what do you got there? And I'm just like, Ugh. I got to a point where I just told the kid, just wave. And you know, and if the parents aren't paying attention, I go, hi. Yeah, usually if you say hi right to them, it'll startle them out of their days. <laughs> and then they'll move on. All right. So that was the last one. Okay. So guys, I know we can't please everybody, but like, seriously, it's annoying. Like, just let us live our life. Life is already hard. Just remember, making, yeah, we're, yeah. Making it more making it awkward more. for somebody else. Like, yeah. yeah. And remember, we're all folks. We're all peeps. Mm -hmm. So like, we're, we have some slightly different things, but come on, we're, we're all gonna have similar right. relationship issues. And, right things we talk about and deal with right. and just be kind. So our difference is obvious mm -hmm. and outward. Yes. But there are differences that are internal mm -hmm. and more difficult mm -hmm. than our obvious our outward obvious. difference. That's right. So we love each other yeah. and love our relationship mm -hmm. and everything that comes with it. I think there are so many benefits to being in a interracial relationship or even mm -hmm. just in a culture. It could be two white people mm -hmm. from different parts of the world. That's very interesting mm -hmm. um, too because you, I don't know, I feel like you become more sensitive mm -hmm. to other people and right. what they could be facing. Yeah. So, Every yeah. time you immerse yourself in a different way of life, it grows you mm -hmm. and it's helpful As, or, or you'll leave. Right. Either you you're able to stay and absorb and grow, or you leave. Yeah, and it's mm, better if you me. it's better if you can go through it and learn something and, mm -hmm. and grow and become a, a better mm -hmm. person. Yep. Yeah. So thank you guys so much for watching. We know this is a different topic, but it's one that I've, <clears throat> we've been asked to do mm -hmm. in the past. So if you have not seen our last video, please do check it out. And with that, dear friends, keep keep looking, looking up. up.